how's that? Look at this section on the inside here. Look at it sucking That's out right there. How's right that? Right. That's filthy. Look at the line across that. We're on that, aren't we? Yeah, I'm out there. G'day and welcome to the Paddle Out. I'm joined again by my co-host Shane Hyron. And our very special guest this episode is none other than the lovely Macy Cullen. We also acknowledge the traditional custodians of this country and pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. I'm Ray Bishop from Surfing Life magazine. Macy, thanks for joining us. <laughs> thanks for having me. Shane, yeah, thanks for coming in too. Oh, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> I like uh, coming in and having yarns like this. This is fun. Yeah. Yeah. So how you been, Macy? You been getting some of the swell? Yeah, I've been good. Um, yep, had a couple of really good days at Kira. Um, yeah, the waves have been non-stop since I've been home from Hawaii. So um, yeah, it's been nice to be back in the water. Yeah, it's been pumping, huh? Yeah. Kind of. It's, has it been hitting the banks right? Yeah, I reckon it's been uh, like Burley's had some, the power in this cyclone has been really good. Mm. The Kira's been good. Roll through Greenmount. Yep. Everywhere. You get all that? Yeah, I, I surfed Burley um, last week. I don't usually surf Burley. It's not really. I hate the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> I just like avoid rocks like Lennox, Burley. I'm just like no go for me. So um, I reckon Lennox is harder than Burley, isn't it? I don't. Yeah, I mean, they're both super hard. But um, I, I just launched off the rocks a couple of times. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Burley's been like probably some of the best I've surfed. There. I've only ever surfed on the events like yeah. a few years ago. So coming back from a while, like they uh, cancelled the contest, like it was yeah. going to go, and then it, what happened? Oh, it just all came crashing down quickly. But um, yeah, they, I think they had some issues with the permits and some other things. So, um, yeah, we only got to run one event, which was a bummer. But yeah, the government closed it down because they were run they weren't running it as a sporting event. Mm. They were running it as a, what was it? They were running it as a, a a TV uh, yeah. shoot. So yeah. it was like a movie shoot. Yeah. So the permits oh. I was running under were movie permits. Yeah. And then with the movie permit stuff, it meant they had to shut down because as soon as they got one case of COVID, but with the sporting event, if they're under different permits. It so could have ran. Yeah, yeah, probably. I guess, yeah, one case, you have to shut down the whole set and everyone has to, you know, go get tested and all these protocols. So um, yeah, Off. I think they got in a bit of trouble maybe. But really? That's we, good. We don't really. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> like, who, who doesn't like some bit of controversy, yeah, bit of controversy. from the Wazzle? Oh, yeah, I love I mean, a bit of controversy. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> I like breaking all the rules that shouldn't be rules. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it makes life there interesting. You go. Yeah, if that shouldn't know, like, be rules, like, like why are they you, rules? You've got a contest and just because you you know permits one way and it's not the other and you know, you still you still could would have run the same event the same way, even if it was the other way. Yeah. So you know, they're all the silly things in life yeah. that they stop people having fun. Mm. The fun police. Yeah. You know? So so Shane's almost lived in Hawaii for like 20 years. How many times have you been to Hawaii now? Um, I think this is like my fifth trip, I'm pretty sure. So you're getting pretty comfortable? Yeah, but I've never really put a lot of time in on the North Shore. I usually, I've been there more for like shoots and other right. like sponsor commitments. So um, it was my first time like giving it a real good go, I guess. Um, pretty well, interesting. Do you <laughs> like the adrenaline rush? Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like it was scary. Like I was really scared most of the time. It was the whole time we were there. It did not stop. Like it was big and pumping the whole time. The biggest time. waves you ever see. Yeah, probably some of the biggest waves for sure. Like yeah. sunset was huge. Pipe was like incredible. I obviously didn't go out there when it was big, but um, it was good to watch. Yeah, it was well, big. You're better. You're a better person than I. I wouldn't have done. <laughs> Did you, were you able to push yourself over there? Like, did you have someone over there helping you get yeah. across those lines? Because I, I know when I first went, I went with this big wave rider in Cairns. Mm -hmm. And I was on the beach one day and he just said it was giant, out of control. And I said, oh, I'm not going out. <laughs> and he's gone, you're going out there. And he pushed me to go out. Um, did you have someone helping you get across those lines? Yeah, for sure. I had my boyfriend, Sheldon, there. So, um. He definitely pushed me. I definitely wouldn't have gone out some days without him. And my coach, Tommy Witz, was there and um, all the girls were there. So it was fun, like, having the girls there because it's like if one girl goes out, you have to go out. It's like that feeling where you're like, oh, well, oh, she I can't be that. the only That's girl kind out. of exactly. <laughs> this, is, this is what happened in the early days of surfing is the guys were pushing each other. And now we've seen a, a shift 
that the girls are now going, well, she's going out, I'm going out yeah. too. Yeah, you know what I mean? for sure. I know, like, Steph you're and not Nikki. fighting all the other rubbish, the other sexism rubbish that you had yeah. back in the day. You don't have to fight that anymore. No. Now you're... Yeah, doing, we're there. Like, now you're pushing each other. Yeah, we've got our own event amazing. there. and um, Yeah, all the girls are out there charging big waves, big boards. <laughs> so what, what's a big board? What's a gun for you? I rode a 6'8". That was the biggest board I rode. Um, and before that, I probably hadn't ridden anything over, like, 6'3 or anything. Right. So. Um, it was like definitely harder. I like could barely duck dive the board, so it was a bit, a bit hard. But it was fun. It was really fun. It was something different. Yeah. yeah. So you've brought along something magic today. Something a little bit of magic for us. Yep. All right, we've got to bring it in the All special right. way on this. <gasps> wow! Oh, oh wow! Amazing. So you're a women's junior champion, world yep. champion, world champion, not 2016. Amazing. Yeah, I actually couldn't remember what year it was. It's been a while. <laughs> what? Not that long. Not that long. No. Um. What happens in five years ago? Yeah, a lot happens. In five years. A lot happens. <laughs> yeah. This it's is funny. Incredible. Like I remember it so clearly, but I can't believe it's been like that long. Right. Yeah. So it's like yesterday. Yeah. But a decade ago. Literally. In the, how does your memory do that? I always find that interesting. Yeah. Yeah, you remember that for the rest of your life. That's correct. Yeah, exactly. How did it come about? Like, uh, were you ever Australian champion? Yeah, I um, yeah, I was Australian champ maybe like three or four times. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Junior and open. Yeah, junior and open. So um, yeah, that was cool. And then I did the pro junior series for a few years. Yeah. And took that out the year that I won this as well. So. Big year. How it was a it, big year. How did it as come around? Did you like have a couple of close seats, or was there, or did you just? It was pretty. You won it from start. Yeah, you know, start to finish. Yeah. Um. To be honest, this is probably like these few years were like the like good junior career for me. I was um, going pretty well and yeah. won a few events. I think I won five pro junior events. Um, yeah. Qualified. Yeah, for this as the top seed, and then um, yeah, I think I won every heat. So well, in the event. I think you have to, don't you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, no, you and four. Were they four men to there start with? There was a couple three-man heats. Right. Um, but, yeah, we had, and then I went into man-on-man, on man, so woman-on-woman, on woman, I mean. Did you train hard for it? Yeah, extremely hard. I think I probably trained harder back than I did now. I was um, <laughs> I was really into uh, swimming, so I was doing a lot of that as um, my training and surf yeah, life saving. Right. So I was still living down on the Central Coast at this time. So, um. Yeah, I was training really hard. So you're from Central Coast? Yeah, I'm from Evoca Beach. Evoca. Wow. Yeah. How does Evoca bring in out so many great surfers? What's, it, what's in the water down there? I keep asking I people. know, there's a lot what's of good surfers. What's in the water down there? I don't know. What just a bit of magic. What's the, ma the magic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think there's just so many good surfers that, like, growing up, it's just, it's just there's always someone in the water that's so Lots good. Lots of good breaks? Yeah, we've got reef breaks, beach breaks, everything. Yeah. So. Good variety of waves to yeah practice. Nice, can I? Can I yeah. <laughs> well, it's I thought dirty, it was going to be heavier, but, <laughs> but it's not too bad. Did you drink something? I um, I think I, I was. I mean, I wasn't eighteen yet, so <laughs> I, can't, I didn't <laughs> yeah, drink any alcohol. Didn't. I don't think. But um, actually, on my eighteenth birthday, we got it back out, and all my friends and I like drank out of it. It was pretty funny. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. Big mimosa in there or something. Yeah. I don't actually think it was like beer or something. <laughs> oh, At that crazy. time, I like didn't drink beer, so I was like, yeah, but Whatever. it was fun. At least, you know, it's, it's not a waste then of good No, nah, exactly. Well, I'm, I'm going to pop this back down, yeah. but this is amazing, and yep. thanks for bringing it in. No worries. It's nice to, like, get it back out again and have a little... And celebrate yeah, it again. Yeah, celebrate again. It's been yeah, a while. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nice. Oh, pop it down there. Maybe. So that helped you get on the world tour, right? Eh? Yeah. Um... Yeah, from there it just like it went pretty quick, and I grew up a lot. I think from that moment onwards. Was it one or two years after this? Um, one tour, two years. Two years. Yeah, I. Uh, twenty nineteen. So in twenty eighteen, I was the injury replacement. Replacement world cup, and so. that was a huge year for me. Twenty eighteen. Um, I was like eight of seven or eight events for you. Yeah, as I got a into pretty much every event mm. there, and um, I ended up. Placing second in one of the CT events mm. as a wild card, and it was which one was that? I in France, yeah. Oh. So that was like an amazing trip. I got second there, and then I actually turned eighteen like the next day. Wow! Um, celebrated wow. at um, 
the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Stop it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I flew home and then like a week or two later, I qualified so for the CET the next yeah. year. So. Yeah, for 2019. Yeah. And then 2020 was a bit of an ordinary year. Yeah, yeah. But so, so 2019, string of ninths and a yeah. couple of 17ths. Yeah. Kept you still in the mix? Yeah, I didn't have like a good year at all. I was pretty bummed, to be honest. By the end of the year, I was like... It's a tough first year. Yeah, the rookie years, it's really hard. I was coming up against like... Obviously, Carissa and Steph, the majority of my heats being like a low ranked. Low ranked yeah. um, but those, like, it, you learn so much. I learned so much about like myself and competing. What was the number one thing you learned, do you reckon? Probably just like not to take everything so seriously. I think I was putting so much pressure on myself, mm. um, thinking, yeah, that I just had to win every event and I didn't get close to that at all. So every time I lost, I was getting so bummed. Yeah, right. And yeah, just like I'd be carrying that into the next event. So yeah. I just had to learn to like, you know, forget about the past a little bit more. <laughs> let let one go focus the next. Yeah, exactly. Like just Can't regroup. change it, can you? Yeah, exactly. Just move on. But um yeah, managed to re qualify again on the QS, which is nice. <laughs> yes. And you Oh, through the QS. Yeah. So your C T ranking wasn't enough with Yeah, with I didn't those. make the top ten, but I, I um I was in the top six on the QS, so yeah, I qualified right. through that. Yeah, okay. Because it's pretty tough. Only top ten, hey, for the girls. Yeah, ten girls on the CT and then six on the QS. So Yeah, which is different to, is, is it 20 or 22 for the guys in yeah. the top ten? Yeah. Just to give them the 32. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you, like, do you like being on tour? I do, yeah. I yeah. like... It's crazy. It's like it's a very like the QS is fun and whatnot, but then once you get on the CT, it's a very like glamorous life. A little more, is you it? know, you're traveling a little nicer and doing things a little yeah nicer in a way. But um, it's hard. Like it's a lot of time on the road, and yeah, it's definitely not all sunshine and rainbows. But it what, is what's your favorite spot on as you go around the tour? Um, God, there's so many good, amazing ways. It's I like for me. I love competing at Snapper. That's just like yeah, right. all my friends and family. It's close to home. That's and who doesn't want to surf Snapper with only one other person out? Yeah. Like I can barely get a wave any other day. So when I get the chance to surf out there with one other person, it's it's pretty pretty nice. Yeah, I reckon. But um, J Bay is like an amazing place. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's. Do you good. find bells and down around like Winky Pops a lot like that? Kind but of. That kind of little bit of that. That J Bay feeling, yeah, for sure. Like a long, nice. Um, Portugal's yeah. got it or two a little bit, you know, a yep. little bit in there. Oh, it's funny. Like there's so many right hand point breaks on on the and tour. They're all cold. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know. There's except a lot, snapper. except for snapper, but yeah, yeah the rest are pretty Kira. cold. Um, but yeah, I like that was another thing I found pretty hard. I feel a lot more confident on my back end surfing. So getting used to surfing right point breaks is like a little bit harder for me. <laughs> Isn't that funny? There's a because we I've had this discussion a lot. I, I I think there's a lot of goofy footers that surf amazing on their back end, yeah, and their forehand is okay. Mm -hmm. Most natural footers surf better on their forehand, mm -hmm. and there's very few that are as, as good on their back end. Natural footer, yeah, prefer their back end. Wow, yeah, that's... I'd rather go left. Yeah, in an event for sure. I prefer. I'm a goofy footer, so I, on the Gold Coast, obviously, I love. Yeah. My back end. Yeah. I, I kind of surf bed on my back end yeah. as well. So I get it. I get you get in the lip more, can't you? Yeah, for sure. Um, but but what about barrel riding? Forehand. <laughs> <laughs> I like, yeah, not very good on my backside barrel riding yet. Need to do more practice, but um, that's hard. <laughs> it is hard. Unless you've got somewhere like a wave pool to keep yeah. practicing. Now, we actually had like at Kelly's wave pool that was... Like, I know Nikki Van Dyke and I were partners at the pool there and we were both, like, practicing our backside barrel riding for a whole day. And it was pretty funny footage watching the progression from the start to the end. Yeah. So it was cool, though. It was, it's really cool having, like, that as a training tool, the yep. pool and the facility there. It's amazing what you can get done. How, how do you feel about pool technologies? What are your thoughts on them? Um, I think they're amazing. They're so fun and... That, as I said, they're great like training grounds for surfers, and mm. I personally don't think there should be CT events at the pools. What do you think, Sean? Should there be I'm, CT? I'm with that. Yeah, I, I we're all with that. Surfing, oh, yeah. surfing's, 
boring. Surfing yeah. takes in a, a whole lot of rhythm, yep. yeah, timing, placement, yep. you know, in the pool of the ocean. Have that. No, that just yeah. opens it up to, you know, like not surfers that could, yeah. you could get guys that come in and then it takes it away from surfing. Um, I think I there's think no that, dopamine. That's what my big thing. You you know what way's coming. Yeah. And dopamine's all about the unexpected treat. And as surfers and as viewers, it, that's when you sort of go, you know, you're watching Kelly. And I said, like I did on social media, went, I'm going to predict something here. Turn, 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 barrel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Turn, 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 barrel, turn. Yeah, it gets predictable. By the end of the day, you're like... Oh. You already know what each surf is going to do. For, for that <laughs> event, I, like I would like to see in the wave pool, you get everybody goes along and does a certain amount of manoeuvres, right? And you just keep going till you get to the manoeuvres where people can't do. Yeah. Like you might get into the mm. flip or, or you get into a combination that you've got to get a combination done in a certain area. Kind, kind yeah. of like a you game know. of donkey. Well, just yeah. there you go. You've got to do this a turn. Bit, and yeah. each time you, when you miss the yeah. turn, you're out of the comp. comp. Yeah, you, that's right. That's I think it, skateboarders do that. It's called like skate or something. Yeah, yeah well, do a I'd like to see it go to the, like that's how I see a wave pool would be like you'd be in there like I'd be watching and going, wow, who's going to win this yeah. year? And yeah. And see who's progressed and, you know, like you've got the Federers and the, uh, you know, and the Dahls in the tennis that are always up the top. Yeah. And with something like that, you'd probably see that, but definitely don't like the, um, that it's being rated and they're, they're yeah. thinking of putting more on it. I know it's. Um, you, do, you do know it. about his little wave pool. <laughs> well, Sam's on tour. They had at Allentown yeah. and that oh, little grovelly. Little. All the little guys won. <laughs> yeah. you know, I know, the lightest it's... guys ended up in the final. Yeah. yeah. The heaviest guys were all out first round. You and Elko. <laughs> Me, Elko, Mitch Thorson, <laughs> Pagey, all yeah. of us were. And like TC was still going. He won it. Tom <laughs> Carroll and Derek Hine were in the final. <laughs> Derek Ho were Derek in the final. Yeah, yeah. Tiny little, yeah. Know, they, I think they weigh three pound each. Yeah, uh, yeah they're little. Away. I know yeah. it's um, it is like awesome watching. I think for the men like Felipe and Gabby because they're doing like the amazing most high stuff. performance surfing possible in the pool, which is like amazing to see. But then yeah. After Those corrupt oh, airs still and fine. The, yeah, yeah, still find it get a bit boring. It after does a while. after a, like it, it's never going to double up. Yeah, no. It's not. It's yeah. never going to turn itself inside yeah. out and barrel its face off. Imperfections. Yeah. There's just, no imperfections. Yeah. Waves have imperfections that which may make it bring spon yeah. spontaneity yeah. into yeah. it. Yeah, you and can't beat the ocean. It and, no, you can't beat the ocean. So, no. so surfing for you, where did it start? Like, how, how did you get your first surfboard and your first wave? How did it all start yeah. for you? Actually, um, what yeah. did you first ride? Okay, yeah, I first, I rode a boogie board. I stood up on a bodyboard. Not riding a board, stood up on a bodyboard. Yeah, I, 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 um, I was like obsessed with this pink bodyboard that my mum and dad bought me when I was young and I just didn't want to get off it. I like literally rode it all the time. I was like, I don't want a surfboard, I just want to keep riding this. I'm yeah. sure. But um, I was fairly young, I was always in the water from a very, very young age. I was the youngest of three girls and um, my older sisters loved the water and they were really good at surf life saving. So I was always somewhere in like a chlorine pool or, or the ocean or something, I was always in the water, a little water baby. But um, my dad was a good surfer and he, um, I think he was hoping I was a boy when I was born. <laughs> That's all he wanted was a boy and, you know, just a little boy. So I think he was like, okay, well, I'm just going to have to, you're, you're my surfer and you're going to have to do this. So I yeah. was kind of, but I loved it. And um, You still surf a lot with your dad? A little bit, every now and then. Um, he still lives on the Central Coast, so um, I don't see him a whole lot, but... Um, yeah, we definitely had some good memories together. Nice. Yeah. And how much do, do your sisters still surf a lot or um, not so much? Not so much. They, like, the amateurs, like, not very good at surfing, standing up on still. surfboards. But, yeah, my... Um, oh, so they were all, they just were clubbies. Clubbies, they were full clubbies. Full like clubbies my, and... My um, sister Cody was actually the Australian Iron Woman champion, so... Wow. Yeah, she was really good back in the day and... Um, yeah, they they Household surf. Household of champions. Yeah, we do. you don't have was to be a the, pro surfer. Iron, surf Iron Woman surf. champion. Yeah, yeah. What won the events? She won the event. Yeah, the Australian titles. Um, it was in Good Perth. Honor. Um, I think she was seventeen or eighteen. But um, yeah, she was amazing. She was wow, uh, she, an amazing athlete. Yeah. So she would have been good for you to train with. Oh yeah, we were the most competitive people ever. Like in the family. In the family, like whatever she did, I wanted to do it and better. The so, oldest? No, middle. Middle. Yeah. 
What happened to the oldest? Ah, oh, Jay just never really not her scene. Found it her groove. Yeah, she oh. just was like, oh, you know, like she good good at swimming, but um, sure. she was just doing her own thing. Yeah. Each to their own. Yeah, but me and Cody were like butting heads. Like oh, I'm better than you. <laughs> Still. Or oh, you've got your own space. I mean, we now, have our own space now. She's she does her own thing now, and um, she actually works for another like a brand, fashion brand. So um. She's into cool. that kind of stuff, but um, we still butt heads, don't you worry? Yeah, well, you've got it, don't you? So, yeah. So iron you, sharpens iron. Yeah. <laughs> you're sponsored by Billabong? Yep. Well, what, you know, with sponsorship now, like, it's it's always evolving, but what what do they uh, expect from, like, their pro athlete? What what do you have to do for it? Yeah, I guess, um, I guess just, present, like, represent the brand as well as I can. Yeah. Um, there's always, like, different things we have to do, whether it's, uh, media commitments or photo shoots or I know the girls do a lot more like around the fashion world and that kind of stuff and um, but yeah it, it's a fairly easy job as I would like you know it's not like you're sitting down in an office working sure um, every job has its challenges every, every job has its challenges yeah for sure um, for myself like I find having to go and take photos in bikinis and that maybe not as easy as some people think it is it's you know Body, body image is like a huge thing Absolutely. and um, yeah you don't always feel confident and good in your skin you, there's always yes. days that you feel down and you're like oh, I don't want to be in a bikini or something but that's just life but um, I love my job and I love yeah. the brand that I represent and I love Billabong I've been with them since I was 12 so wow. it's been a long long um, yeah long ride. they're a great brand they're, they're a great brand yeah looked after surfers yep and they've yeah. been very very good to me they're that's great good. family yeah, yeah. Yeah. And your surfboards? Who shapes your surfboards? Um, I'm on Sharp Eye. So, um, Brendan. Brendan Leckie, yeah, yeah. He shapes my boards. So, um, I actually joined the team maybe it's been a year now. So, um, yeah, he's got, because Sally joined the team too, huh? Yeah, we've got some, yeah, we've got Sally and Joanne DeFay, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And Tatiana. Tatiana. Right? Yeah. But she's not on Brendan's board, she's on. Yeah, Marcio. Marcio. And she get a lot of the she riders gets, do get. When they come here. When they come here, yeah, um, they, all went, they all want Brendan's boards. Well, he knows <laughs> the area, doesn't he? Exactly, yeah. yeah. He knows the place it's really like well. It's like Pies in. Yeah, exactly. Why? But yeah. the Aussie I think it's something here. to do with, like, I guess the factories and the weather and everything definitely plays a role in how the board's actually made and, like, produced. And Correct. I mean, I don't and know a whole lot the about... Weight, well, yeah, the weight yeah, yeah, the weight of the foam and the glass and, and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, that all that all plays a huge part in it. Yeah, you need a bit more volume here. Yeah, I'm, like, I only know basics of surfboard making. <laughs> right, <so>. okay. <laughs> I'm still learning. That was, like, the first thing. I was riding Matt Biolos boards for a long time, mm -hmm. and I made the switch to Sharp High. Just, I wanted a fresh start and something new and... Mm. I um, just loved the feeling. I actually borrowed Matt Banning's Sharp Eye and I ended up winning, oh, not winning, Is but re-qualifying. No, he was just... He's on LSD. Yeah, he was just trying out, like everyone okay. was trying, I think everyone was trying out go. Sharp Eyes. Yeah, like, yeah. Everyone wanted to have a go of these boards and I was like, oh, well, same. I'll have a go, go too. Ha I'll have a go too. Yeah, and I ended up loving them, so um, I, I have so to nice. say, now, it's a it's a sort of an off-the-cuff statement, but it they do seem to work good for the girls. Yeah, uh, the the women's team is. Going, I mean, Toledo seems to go all right. Yeah, he goes all right, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's a. But um. He can ride anything. Yeah. Yeah, I think right. literally you put him on anything and he'll go flying. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love them. They're, yeah. They're really. Oh, so really when you're good. ordering a board, you go into the shaping bay with them, or do you just? What do you? How do you order a board? Like you. You want to get a few boards coming up for the Yeah, the I next, mean, me and Brendan contest. have a really great relationship. We're just like really good friends. So. Yeah. Like, I talk to Brendan every second day, to be honest. We yes. Just, so, um, yeah, just go into the factory and the glass lab and say hey to everyone. It's, yeah. like, a really nice place just to go hang. <laughs> Have you ever sat there or stood in the bay with him while he's... Not yet. Shaped? I've been in the bay and he showed me around. Like, that's the first thing that when I joined Sharp Eye, yeah. they really wanted me to feel comfortable in the factory and, like, show me around and yeah. teach me more about yeah. how a surfboard's actually made and yeah. so I can, like, get to know my equipment better. Sure. Um... I haven't really had like a lot of time to really go in the bay and actually watch Brendan shape my boards because I'm usually somewhere else of while course. he's making my boards. So um, that's probably like one of my, that's like at the top of my list to do. Yeah, you need <laughs> to go in and just, just un to understand yeah. what's yeah. going into it. Yeah. Because like you get Formula One drivers mm. who are driving cars and they will uh, get to know their car 
three months before they, yeah. so they're testing it out on the track. So when you go in and you, the shape is making your board, you can understand exactly why he's putting something in. Mm -hmm. And then when you're feeling it coming around the corners, you can go, oh yeah, yeah, I can feel that. I can feel that yeah. squirt out of the corner or a deceleration, acceleration, you know, like you, as you, and you start to understand it. Also, when you're going in looking at your boards, you're talking, you can meet the glasses. Yeah. And, and, and then you see, you get more of this personal connection with your surfboard, which is what you need on yeah. your level. No, 100%. You need to have such a good connection with what's underneath your feet and Absolutely. getting an appreciation for the shape, all the time and the hard work that goes yeah. into it. And, and, you know, how these guys are, they're all specialists at what they do. Yep. Even the guy that's sanding your board, like oh, I think the sander is like almost as important as the shaper because he, so he can destroy the shape. Yeah, take 100%. the edges off. There's a lot. There's a big team in those factories, and yeah, um, yeah, I'd love to get to very them. professional yeah. outfit. The guys at Glass Lab. They yeah, do a, they a do a great, job. great yeah. job. I actually know like a few of the boys that are glassing and stuff like that. So it's always nice when you you feel comfortable somewhere. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> that's the thing about it. Boards being shaped in Australia, mm. as opposed to you know maybe Thailand or China. Everyone who's shaping, um, laminating, sanding, yeah. putting plugs in, they yeah. all surf. They do. You don't find non-surfers in yeah. Australia in any factory. Yeah, a lot of them surf. They it's, all. Yeah, it's. So what's one of the what's really one of your favourite stories yeah. that you got like? <laughs> one, um. I mean, I've definitely got a few. I think I'm sure you got plenty. <laughs> I've, I've like the one that like stands out in my mind is it's probably not like a we got pumping waves or anything, but um, I was I don't know maybe 13, 14, pretty young. Um, I went on a trip with some of my friends to Bali. Um, no parents, so we had one parent there, so it wasn't like one little chaperone. Yeah, one chaperone, just a bunch of my like that just couple of boys that I went to school with and I was really close because I never really hung out with girls it was just like I, the boys were always surfing so went on a trip with the boys and my dad gave me one piece of advice before I went was don't get on a motorbike and then if you do put shoes and clothes on so the first day I got to Bali I got on the motorbike with my bikini on <laughs> thought I was red hot just went for it and crashed really badly Got like three burns on my legs and I was out of the water for like the whole trip. So I missed out on surfing. And have you got the um, I don't, these tattoo? I don't really have any scars. I had like one on my Achilles that took forever to heal. Yeah. But I actually, they gave me like <laughs> cow's placenta. Wow. Cream. Yeah. Cream. Like the local ladies. Yeah, right. And it, it healed up like amazing. Which what was, was it? Cow's, cow's placenta. placenta. Uh, cow's placenta. Yeah. Wow. With all of the good stuff. All the good yeah. stuff. All the, like, yeah, yeah, it's amazing stuff and it works. And that's why like you're not dream. scarred. Yeah. It, it definitely, like, there was some. Better than vitamin bad. E cream, eh? So, so what's the gist of, what's the moral of the story there? <laughs> Listen to your parents. <laughs> Listen. Or don't, yeah, just like think, about, some think about things before you do it because I definitely didn't think I just went for it you got the best advice in the world and didn't take I didn't it. listen I was like no way I'm, I'm getting on this motorbike and I'm going for it I can do it yeah I couldn't at 13 Whew, yeah I was pretty young so um, that's cool well that's it. not too bad because you hear of people dying on yeah. motorbikes exactly yeah there. but um, that was like one lesson learned I've had like I had a really good um, little visa issue two years ago now I um I was in South Africa and I was going to the US Open straight from there so I was going mm. via America and my I had like a new passport because I just turned 19 or something or my under 18 passport expired so I got a new passport and I forgot to do my American visa so there I was like oh no I like rang my travel agent I was like can you please quickly do it or I'll do it whatever we were rushing to do it there at the airport we pressed something wrong and it was like, are you involved in terrorist activities? No. And we pressed yes. So instantly <laughs> I was like, denied, you cannot enter the United States. And I'm like, oh my God, like I have to get there. These events are running in like a few days. Anyways, I had to fly back to Oz and go down to Sydney to the embassy. And like, I was like, I need 
to get my visa, like passport. Like this is a really important event. It's like two ten stars. Were you yeah, trying yeah. to go from South Africa to America? To America, yeah. And you had to come I back. I had to come home. all the way back home. I had wow. to fly to Sydney like four or five times in like a few days just to get this. Twenty eight hour flight or something. And they're like, so I put it in. And I was like, how long is it going to take? And they're like, it's going to take up to like a week or something. And I was no. like, oh my god, can't be. It can't. Like no, <laughs> I need this now. And they're like, there's sorry, there's nothing we can do. And I was like, oh my god. So I had to email Jesse and. The people, like guys at WSL, are like I'm sorry, I'm pulling out. Like I can't do anything about it. Anyways, something wonderful happened, and we got a call saying, "Hey, it's ready." Um, oh. But it was on a Friday, and they're like, "We'll post it out." And I was like, "I have to leave tonight." Can I come and get Can it? Can I come and get yeah. it? So I got on a plane. I flew back to Sydney, <laughs> went to the post office, picked up my passport, got on, back on the flight to Gold Coast, drove straight to Brisbane, and got on a flight to LA. Oh my god! And the next day, the event ran. And did you get? And, and, day, and, and I got knocked it? out in my first heat. <laughs> 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 had to. Had to. So I was like, "Oh my god, this oh. is the worst trip ever! I would have oh. just not come." <laughs> well, all that lead up—it's almost impossible. Yeah, I was just like so frazzled by the time it I got was, there. Oh, I was just sure. like, "South Africa, Australia." Yeah. yeah. I was all like, "Oh home, no!" All the stress. It was a lot, and wow. <sighs> anyways, that was. That is a great story. Yeah, so that you, was, did, what about your next contest, the next 10 star? Did you do well in that? Did I don't you make think it so. I, like, I just had a total bad, Barry Crocker, bad just few weeks. bad few weeks. I was like, no. Totally out of the groove. Yeah. Well, you, I, ha um, you have heard the statement, haste makes waste, haven't you? I don't think I have. <laughs> so William. Because you you you're but, like yeah. hurrying through. Yeah. One button wrong. Yeah, oh, one button. Yes. And then yes. like still to this day, because I have like a... A special visa going into the United States. I still, oh, get, still, I still get questioned every time I go there. I have it for like five years though, so wow. I can I can go to the United States for like six months at a time, which is nice. But yeah. they still question me. Like just when I went this time to Hawaii, they pulled me into the little immigration area and like Is gave me a good talk to, to and I'm like, I promise I'm not a terrorist. I'm just here to surf and do my job. Yeah. They look at me I'm like some blue-eyed blonde hair. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. This is really weird. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Why were you on this list? Yeah. Why are you on this list? I'm like, I don't know. I should I'm be. I'm a terrorist. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, any yeah. Anyways. This yeah. It was funny. Well, well this show goes through the state, the state, so maybe someone's watching and give you a bit of a... Yeah, like if someone's <laughs> watching this, please help. <laughs> <laughs> please stop stopping yeah. me. Yeah. Anyways, oh, so yeah. That is too good. That's awesome. And um, how's this year looking for you guys? Yeah. How are you um, feeling about... You know, it's been like a bit of a... We had a rocky start. Like, obviously, Hawaii mm. was not a great start, but um, I think the Australian leg is looking really good and positive. The charter flight's coming and the international surfers are going to be landing here. In a charter flight? Yeah, on March, some day in March. Um, yep, they're all coming. So it's... They're um, getting tested before they come? Yep. yep. Getting well, tested, they've got to do, like we all did the two-week quarantine, they're going to have to do that. Um, pretty much the same as like the tennis. Yeah. But obviously we've got a way smaller amount of people coming. Yeah. And Wouldn't it be nice if they could just quarantine them at like some sort of remote beach that oh, yeah. like I, I was disappointed that when the tennis players came here that they're not allowed to go out and play tennis and go straight back in the hotel yeah like you can't work out that they can't go 50 feet that way and 50 feet backwards mm. you know like for a surfer you could rent out at a house or they could rent out a few houses yep. on some of their beach front there's somewhere. numerous beaches in australia yeah. with yeah. nobody on them and they had to let them surf you know I and mean, hang out and then yeah you know, then they don't lose any of the, you know, and get frustrated and angry. And, yeah. you know, the one guy from America, he was so angry that he couldn't go and hit the ball. <laughs> well, we, um, when this all happened at the start of last year, we wrote an article in Surfing Life saying, here's the plan B, just do it all in Australia. I think everyone coming Come to in. Oz is like, let's just run. Like, yeah. let's run events as many as we can. Like, there are so many waves there's in Australia so many that waves could here. cover... Yeah. Pretty much, except for Pipeline and Chopu. Yeah. But, but gee, we've got some pretty keg and barrel and waves. I that mean, imagine, yeah. It with. And we've just do it web only, it. webcast only. Yeah. No crowds. Yeah. It's easy. How do you like WA? Like, that's got some juice. It's got some juice. It's scary. <laughs> I'm, like, scared of sharks and everything else that's happening out there. It's, yeah. like, a hard wave to figure out one. Main beach? Main, yeah, main break is, whew. 
I mean, that might be. But that would be kind of a challenge for it's you. It's a challenge there, and it is it really interesting. It is, um, like, it's a good event. It's an amazing event. Like, they run such a great, they do such a great job there. Do you and think they'll have the girls out of the box? I think one day, 100%. I think women's surfing definitely is going towards that direction. Yeah. Like, we just saw the girls it? out pipe, and they were ripping and yeah. getting fully tubed. And uh, Have you surfed out the box? No. I haven't. Why don't you go out and just show them how oh. it's done? I mean, I know a few girls that have. Like, I've definitely seen my friend Mia McCarthy, I'm pretty sure, over in WA went out. I think Tatiana paddled out last year before, or the year before, before the comp. She didn't get any, but she still paddled out. She had to go, so I think... Yeah, Mia loves it over there. Loves yeah. The, we actually just did a story on her, and she loves the WA juice. She loves it. She's a little animal. She's, like, so small and petite and just, like, charges. This guy She's is. awesome. Yeah, I had, like... Some really fun surfs with her at main break before the event yeah. um, in 2019. So, yeah, yeah she's, she's amazing. Actually, I think she's on our cover. Wow. Yeah. She may be. There she is, yeah. <laughs> her and Bronte <laughs> McCauley are like <laughs> the girls. Well, right? that's, that's um, me and Flick. Yeah, Flick, yeah, yeah Felicity little... as well. She's like, yeah, anyone she that comes from it. WA is yeah. like... Not scared. Mean and like <laughs> mean. scary and charges. Yeah, gnarly. <laughs> so I'm like. <laughs> Where'd you grow up on the Central Coast? So what, what, there's some good gnarly waves there. Eh? Yeah. Did you ever surf like places like Banzai and? Yeah, I've been out like forays and a bunch of like reef breaks. Um, That's got bugs some juice. And like a few like left hand point breaks and reefs. My my dad was like one of the first people ever to surf crack neck. So that was like. His jam, but I've never surfed there. I was one of the first to surf. Yeah, there, so he was like, "How old's your dad?" Ooh. Oh, he's fifty five, six. 50, six. Yeah, I don't that know. was my Maybe first uh, secret spot. <laughs> I like can't. Keep... <laughs> yeah, Craig Nick yeah. was the first. So my first sort of. Yeah, uh, um, he like I do North Shelley board riders, so he was like one of the founding members of that. And wow, like, awesome! I must know your dad. You probably do. Yeah. I spent a lot of time in Shelley, and I, yeah. I, I lived at Avoca for a long time. Yeah, I mean, Gabe Cullohan, I don't know if you've heard I know him. Gabe. Gabe. Don't tell me Gabe's your dad. Yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> joking. You no. want to make that big wave of him at Bells? Gabe Bells. and I are great mates. Yeah, that's my dad. You're joking. No. <laughs> that's my world. Yeah, that's oh my, that's my, my dad. God. Yeah, so... um. I used to surf with your dad <laughs> when we were kids, like 12, 13 yeah. years old, at North there you Shelley. Go. North Shelley was the spot. But, yeah. Wow. All right. So, yeah, that's, this is the reason why I'm here. Over. Yeah, that's, yeah. So he, that's amazing. He, Went yeah. from small, well, oh, he's a surfing great great small, surf. so. Yeah. He's, he's a, he had balls, man. He's yeah. a big wave rider. Yeah. And he liked Banzai and all those places yeah. too. Yeah, like growing up, it was like funny. I like didn't realize. Like we moved to Avoca a little, like we were obviously lived in the entrance and North Shelley and around there for a while. And then we moved to Avoca and he like, I don't know, I, he, people didn't know him as much as like probably on the other side. Yeah, but so. like every time we went there, everyone knew him and I was like, why are you like so cool? And like, <laughs> why does everyone know who you are? It's so how's weird. How is it? How is it? Like the line up clears. can't be cool. Clears for you. And you yeah. just go whatever way you want. I'm like, yeah, but weird. he knows his way around. He knows his way around, yeah. And he, yeah, so that was pretty cool. Oh, that's out. a good dad. Yeah. Yeah, hey, lucky. Yeah. Come so so come he's got three kids. pedigree. Yep. Three girls. Three girls. <laughs> you know what? He wouldn't have wanted a boy. He just would have wanted a surfer. Yeah. So I think, it. yeah, he was. Oh, that's great. Yep. Yeah, I think he was one of the, like when I won my world junior title. He was like, I've never seen someone so proud. <laughs> Bells. What about that iconic photo of him at Bells? Bells he, just, yeah. he caught like one of the biggest waves yeah. in the whole contest. So, yeah, wow. I think Trax ran actually like an article on him a few years ago about mm. that on the 50th anniversary. For Bells. For Bells. Yeah. And that was pretty cool awesome. for him. Yeah. Go little, go little. I'm getting goosebumps. Look. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Total goosebumps. Well, unfortunately, we're actually starting to run out of time. But we do have some little gifts for you. Oh, great. So here's some pure Scott. Nice. RTDs, ready to drink. Nice. Scotch and tonic. Scotch and tonic, I've never and had scotch before. He, look, here's some pure Scott scotch. That's for your dad. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. That's hard to that mean, that stuff. That's this from Shane This is one of my yeah. favourite scotches. <laughs> All right, awesome. So give that I'm to actually heading dad. back down the coast that, soon. Save so that for him. I'll be able to give that to him. Perfect. Yeah. We've also got some wall hangers. Nice. If you've got like a lovely boy you want to hang, yeah. that's what? 
what we've got hanging in the studio awesome. here. Uh, they're cool. Oh. And you can... Oh, throw it away. Yeah, sorry. And you can have the latest surfing life. Sick. I like that there's girls on the cover. Oh, yeah. I love it. That's actually two in a row for us. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, it's not on shelves yet, so you get to read it first. Nice. Thank Look you. Look at that. Amazing. Lots of gear and stuff. Yeah, that's fun. Shane, you know what time it is? It's paddle in time. time we've paddle already in. paddled out. It's <laughs> time to go in. That's right. Look, Macy, thanks for coming in. Guys, thanks for watching. And join us again next time.